Hello, it's me Norm again from MyBearQuest.com. Get a little closer here. Huh? Today, uh, it's a bit unusual. Uh, we have a, a kind of an unusual beer, and uh, it, it's imported from Japan. Which you know, if you uh, if you drink Japanese beers at all, you, most time you you read the label and they're not from Japan at all. They're well, they're originally from Japan, but they were made in Canada, like, uh, you know, Sapporo, uh, Asahi, most of the time you'll find that those are made in Canada, and uh, Kiron is made, you know, not too far from me, in California. So, um, this one actually is imported from Japan, but it's made by Asahi. Um, and uh, I know a, a while back, I think it was... Um, L. Harlock, if you go to youtube.com slash L. Harlock, or Howley, I believe, or Hewley, I'm not sure, he, uh, he made a comment on one of his videos, I believe it was a Sapporo video, that uh, he hasn't um, been able to find a dark Japanese beer. Well, here we go, we got a, this is a dark, Asahi Black. I, I like, I like the, uh, I like the, the cap. Has Japanese writing. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, opener here to save it, so I'm just going to use this cheap opener. Uh, I wish I knew what it said. Oh, there. I think Misho type. I don't read Japanese. Maybe it says I'm so fat. No, I don't know. It has a. It's a really cool cap, actually. Kind of dented it there. Well, I got a six pack, so. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Joe, I didn't even check to see if there was any smoke on that one. Oh. As you can see, hey look, it's a, it's a dark beer. You get a really uh, rich, multi uh, smell out of it. You can tell it's got to be a really flavorful one. And, um, yeah, it, it tastes like a, it, it's not as heavy as a, a stout or, um, or a, um, a porter. It's, it's not a, a, a thick, heavy beer. So it's, um, more of a, you know, have a black lager taste to it. Although I'm not sure if it's a lager or, or not. It just says black. And I'm sorry, I don't know the alcohol per volume. I was looking for it. But, uh, I don't know. I'll try to find that for you. And post it. Um, by the beer, by the beer, or maybe somebody can comment and post it. Um, this is just a really good beer. It's, you know, kind of a kickback beer. You know. Uh, I, I would urge you guys to try it, you know, Fish Brew 21, I think you'd really like this beer. Because I, I know you, uh, you're just starting to get into the, um, the darker beers, this would probably be a good one. Hmm. Very good, very good. Um, you know, like I said, it's not overpowering, it's, it's not like a, it's a, it's just kind of a smooth, dark beer, you know, it's just... Something to watch the game to, or uh, you know, just kick back. And it says relax and enjoy right there on there. <laughs> the fine taste, yeah. But that's that's exactly how I feel. Like relax and enjoy. Um, so, no, nope, give it a try if you can find it. Cheers. I like to say uh, welcome back to uh, the Brew Dudes. Uh, haven't seen their videos I think since I even started my. Uh, my uh, expeditions, but uh, welcome back to you guys, and uh, uh, Sox 21, or Sox 21, uh, I get everybody mixed up, uh, 815 Sox, <laughs> welcome back, I haven't seen you in a while, but you just posted one the other day, so uh, cheers, oh. enjoy your beer, thanks for stopping by, I'm Norm, stop by again, mm. this is a really good beer, I really enjoy this. Oh. Huh.
Yeah, I put a dent in that. I should have used the uh, beer sucker's wooden spoon uh, trick. Next time, sorry. <laughs>